Hey, Gemini gang. What's up, y'all? Let's see what's going on with you guys today. Gemini all placements. Take what resonates, leave the rest, or take it how it resonates with you and your situation, okay? Personal readings are in the description box on the website. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, self-esteem, Gemini. So it says, I possess the gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Balance, Gemini's. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. Okay. All right, fear comes out. I realize I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love and pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Trust is on the bottom. It's been a while since I've seen trust. So, very interesting overall energy, Geminis. So, let's see what's going on with ya. Ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. Hmm, Gemini's. Oh, the Ten of Swords. I feel like some of you, uh, the Two of Cups and the Page of Wands. Okay. Interesting. So I feel like some of you may be hearing from, um, first of all, someone that wants to, uh, that sees you as a, a partner or whatever the case may be doesn't necessarily have to be uh the four cups is on the bottom it's this could be someone you've been thinking about gemini or it could be someone that you're not totally interested in right now or you're not interested in hearing from right now um i feel like gemini's if you're having any type of financial situations or financial problems those are about to end some of you, like I said, had some type of um, money thing. Something happened with money, like some type of massive expense has come up or whatever. Um, I'm also getting to Gemini. For some of you, your situation is not as bad as you think it is. So Ten of Swords to get on the bottom of this deck. So like I said, sometimes the Ten of Swords can just be about overthinking about something and a situation really not being as bad as, as we um, perceive it. hermit oh with the ten of cups on the bottom so we're seeing a lot of tens gemini's so some of you guys might be seeing 10 10 10 10 10 um something like i said is completing for you some type of cycle is completing it could be the hermit mode um you've been in gemini's but i'm also feeling like gemini's some of you are just happy on your own like i'm just that's just what i'm seeing some of you are happy on your own, uh, Gemini's. Or you're trying, there's something that you're trying to go at uh, alone. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Especially with the Six of Pentacles here, Gemini's. I feel like, Gemini's, you're going to get some help from somebody. I feel like you, you've had this, your finances, oh, the King of Pentacles on the bottom. Yes, Gemini's. If you've been feeling like you need help financially, I feel like you're going to get it. Mm. 
the Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, that pretty much clarifies exactly what I've said. Yeah. The Page of Swords. Yeah, the Tower on the bottom. So, yeah, Gemini's, I feel like you may have gone through something financially. Like you took some type of financial hit. Um, but that's going to come out in, in your favor. Like you're going to come out of that. Some of you guys might be uh, in this fear here. Another thing too, Gemini, this pride. This You might be in this prideful energy because I feel like some of you are needing help with something and you're not asking. Some of you need to ask for help because you'll get it. Okay, I'm not taking all these. However, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands, and the Five of Wands. Some of you have heavy fire, somebody heavy fire uh, around you, or you have a lot of fire placements, Gemini's. But I feel like you have someone that would be willing to help you if, if that's what you're needing, uh, Gemini's. You have someone here that would be willing to help you. I feel like you just don't want to ask. I'm picking up on someone that doesn't like, yeah, Gemini, Two of Pentacles. Um, and Gemini, always keep in mind that this could be someone in your energy. But someone here is needing help, I feel like, financially. Um, I feel like it's you, Gemini. It doesn't have to have to be, okay? Um, even if it's not financially, you're needing help with something. And you are not wanting to ask for help. Oh, and it comes back out again. <laughs> The Eight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, King of Wands on the bottom. Could be a Leo or you have Leo in your chart, uh, Gemini. But there's something here I feel like. Um, oh. I'm also getting Gemini. It could be a Virgo, a Sagittarius, a water sign, Leo, like I said. Someone's afraid to lose you. Yeah, someone's scared to lose you, Gemini's. But they won't say that. They won't tell you that. Um, I feel like someone's really money focused, and it could be you, Gemini. But someone is really, really, really focused on building money. Um, I've been getting that for you guys for the last few weeks or so, of someone that's just like really, really... Uh, Trying to accumulate wealth for themselves. Yeah. Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming towards you. The Four of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yep. Someone may ask you to move in with them. Too. I'm getting... I'm seeing... This is giving me stable household vibes. This is kind of what this is giving me. The Magician. Yeah. Somebody's overthinking. Ooh, somebody is overthinking. My goodness. Gemini's. <laughs> I feel like, Gemini, you may have somebody here, like I said, that either wants to, like, take care of you or is building for you. And I feel like you're, like, overthinking it. Because it's just, like, all kind of mental shit going on here. Like, not mentally ill. Eight of Swords again on the bottom. Yeah, you guys are overthinking the hell out of something, uh, Gemini. And I feel like it has to do with a connection. It could be money, too, because I'm seeing money as well, uh, Gemini. Or, again, this is your person that is thinking heavily about, uh, overthinking heavily about losing you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> The Hierophant, you guys. This is exactly what's happening. Someone's trying to build their, their finances and stuff for you. Someone doesn't want to lose you, Gemini. Someone is afraid to lose you.
Yep. Oh my gosh, guys. The Ace of Cups comes out. And yeah, the Three of Swords on the bottom. That's exactly what it is. Somebody's with the pride over here. Someone's pride may be getting in the way or may have in the past. Someone's going to have to let their guard down, though, here. Who's who's it going to be? <laughs> yeah, Gemini's. Someone's afraid to lose you. They're coming towards you, though, with this Knight of Swords. And like I said, I feel like they are... Um, some of them may even be, like, talking about getting a house, but someone is building financially. And I feel like the sole purpose of it is so they can do for you. I want to pull another card for this because I'm, I'm getting someone is like really, really in their head about something. Someone may even be worried about something that they don't even need to worry about. Could be you, Gemini, that's heavily, heavily worried about something that isn't even isn't even worth a second thought yeah you feeling stuck oh my god y'all see that shit i'm fucking good man man i'm good <laughs> the hangman guys what the fuck <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. As soon as I say you feeling stuck, the hangman comes out. What I tell you, Gemini's. Um, there's there is something that you are needing to uh look at in another way, in another uh from another perspective, Gemini. It could be like your money situation, it could be life in general. The Queen of Wands on the bottom. So I feel like you're needing to like get more confident, you know. Um let me say this the way that you perceive the world comes from the inside so if you feel like stuff on the outside isn't working out for you it has nothing to do with anything on the outside it's something on the inside gemini something on the inside isn't working okay as above so below is the magician card you guys see that how he has one hand up i don't know if i can get it in the camera he has one hand up. Ooh, thank you, Spirit. So he has one hand up with the wand in it, and then he has one hand facing, uh, pointing downward. So what that means is, as above, so below. You can Google that, and that means whatever is happening in your mental, um, in your spiritual, in your 5D is showing up to you down here in the 3D. So if your life is shit down here, there's something up there that's not connecting. Gemini's. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Let me get one more because I feel like one more spirit for Gemini's. And again, this could be your person, Gemini's. I definitely see someone isn't is is afraid to yeah, the Knight of Swords again. Lots of cars flipped over. Someone someone doesn't want to lose you. Someone's like in fear. Same energy I got for you guys for another reading. Yeah, the strength card. Exactly what I thought. The king of pentacles again. So, Gemini, like I said, I'm getting someone here needs to get out of their head. Get out of your head and quit worrying so much about the worst case scenario somebody is creating worst case scenarios in their head that may not even happen okay and it could be you could be them uh gemini's but i don't think i'm going to pull any love oracle but i am going to pull some of these here because i feel like gemini you you have some uh things around you you have um, resources around you that you might not be utilizing. So make sure you are looking at all of your resources. Take everything into consideration. Also be mindful of the words that you speak over yourself too, Gemini's. I've said that in other reads. 
the hands on the bottom so that says manifesting money so i feel like you guys if you're having money problems i feel like it, it's gonna work itself out i'm seeing a, a a mixture of things gemini i'm seeing you having some type of money problem that you're trying to fix I'm seeing you have a person here that, that doesn't want you to walk out of their life and, and you know, they don't want to lose you forever. I'm just seeing a lot of stuff. Some of y'all might be moving to moving in with this person as well. Okay, the moon comes out and it says fleeting funds, unknown source being guided. Career says moonlighting, odd jobs, night shift, and part time. So, like I said, some of you are having some type of money problem or someone in your energy is Gemini. But, like I said, you have help. So, I feel like with this unknown, unknown, if I can talk, unknown source on here. Some of you guys might be, while I was saying you have help, some of you are probably like, how? Where? <laughs> I, see, I see some help is coming in for you, Geminis. Some assistance. Clover. Ooh, it says lucky break, gamble, and good fortune. Chance. Career says finance, outdoors, risky business, and surprises. I told you, Geminis. You got something coming in. Okay. Candle, it says ambition, taking action, hustle, manifest money. Career, it says management, high rank, visibility, and athletic. All right. Butterflies on the bottom, sudden change, frivolous spending, short-term loan. Mm-hmm. Careers, arts, movement, temp jobs, and fun work. All right, Gemini's. That's what I was reading. It was a lot of different messages here. Um, yeah, hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. I appreciate you for watching. Peace out.